Uh, there's a situation happening in the United States right now that we have um, latchkey kids, we have a, uh, a lot of children from uh, that are born here or born in Mexico, brought here illegally, that are in school. They don't. Some of them don't even know hardly how to speak English. We have a lot of folks that are in the United States right now that are illegal. Uh, some of the laws, as in the SB 1070, was passed, uh, but a, a lot of that actually made it so there was a, a pseudo amnesty for the ones that have been here for uh, quite a while before they were uh, actually checked at underneath the new 1070 law. So how should illegal imminent immigrants that are within the United States be handled right now? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to have an immigration policy. We have to enforce our laws. We are a, a country of laws. Number two is we have to make sure that we turn off the spigot at the ends of in all immigration. And that is on our southern border, coming from our ports, all ventures coming into this country. And then what we have to do is we have to enforce our laws for um, the folks that actually hire people, making sure that we uphold those laws so that uh, businesses do not uh, hire uh, individuals as well. And what we have to start looking at is, is Enforcement. enforcement. What we're going to see is, is that there is not an opportunity here um, without doing it right, enforcing the immigration rules and law that coming in this country the right way. Okay, Senator Goldman. In 2004, I was the Mohawk County Chairman of a group called Protect Arizona Now. And what that group did is put Proposition 200 on the ballot. I personally gathered about 3,000 signatures on that citizens' initiative. And the reason that we had to do this is because the legislature would not act. What Proposition 200 did is it said that you had to prove that you're a citizen to register to vote, show your ID at the polls, and that you had to prove you're a citizen to draw welfare benefits. And that passed overwhelmingly in Arizona. The, we got the, two, the first two things. The welfare reform we were unable to get due to Governor Napolitano and, at that time, Attorney General Terry Goddard. That's still a court case that's in court. Um, when I, I went on beyond that, we passed a bill called 1157 Border Trespass. What we were trying to do is create a state crime so that local law enforcement could enforce immigration law. We were able to pass that. That was vetoed by Governor Napolitano. Um, in 2006, I believe, is when we, I was a Senate negotiator for what was called employer sanctions. And essentially, the two-strike idea, and that was my idea, essentially what it says is that we'll give you the first free strike if you're an employer and you hire an illegal alien, just because we don't want to argue whether it was an accident or not. I don't believe that it's an accident, but to, for the sake of politics, we had to give that away. But on the, on the second strike, we take your business license. That's the law that Sheriff Joe is able to use from time to time. I also was a member of the Senate and worked on Senate Bill 1070 that passed. It was overwhelmingly supported by people across the United States. I mean, when you poll, the, the left was up in arms against it. In reality, when it, it just restates federal law, it's the same law that they have in California. And, and I think it's a good law, and I believe that it'll survive a Supreme Court challenge because essentially all, the federal government's only argument is that they're the federal government, they make immigration law, they choose not to enforce it, and they don't want Arizona to enforce it either. Sure. Well, I have uh, first-hand experience as not only a law enforcement officer initially, as a police officer, also as a sheriff uh, in Pinnell County, that since 1875, they've never had a Republican elected to any county office, county-wide office in the history of the county, and I became the first Republican ever elected in County. It's different than Yavapai or Mojave County. We were a sanctuary county. We changed that. We enforced all the laws in Pinell County. And that's where, when this federal government under Barack Obama, Eric Holder, Napolitano, I have stood up nationally to fight these people, to be a spokesman on behalf of not just my county, but be one of the leading spokesmen in our state to bring sanity to this issue. While the president tries to divide us as Americans along racial lines, where he was supposed to be the great uniter, he's divided us and made your cops, your protectors, your local heroes as the bad guys. Folks, we're the ones who put our lives on the line to protect our families. We swear an oath to enforce all the laws, and that's what we need to start doing. Here, here in Arizona, we passed Senate Bill 1070, and congratulations not only to the senator, to all of our legislators who are heroes, and our governor who stood up 
saying in the absence of the federal government doing their job, we shall enforce the law. Class one misdemeanor. That, that was, many parts of that were not allowed to take effect. What we do in Pinell County is if we have a crime, a state crime, we arrest that person if there's belief that this person isn't here legally. Put a hold, H-O-L-D, on them and have ICE come and pick them up. We've been enforcing the law in this county, but it can't be one county, two counties, or a number of states. This has to be uniform enforcement. We have to enforce the law on illegal immigration. This is not a racial issue. And later I'll speak about securing the border. That's the core of this whole thing. And I have firsthand experience as a combat engineer, as an Army officer, to help secure the border.